I've been asking myself, right, what makes the right car? And it's, it's a tricky question because I think, you know, different people have different tastes and it's not like one, one size car fits all. And I think the thing that enamored me most about this car was the unique style of this car, which, let me turn this down so I can talk a little bit. Let's do this car an injustice here. Um, so the unique style of this car, and it didn't really dawn on me too much. I think we all get really wrapped up in the horsepower numbers and knowing that this engine's able to produce 670 horsepower. But there's so much more to an experience of a car than just horsepower. And there's suspension and there's grip and there's tightening and there's all kinds of other things that you can do to create the experience. For example, like turning up the exhaust note, and that's an experience. So, you know, my wife made a comment the other day uh, that she was riding in a car with significantly less power and she said it felt like a lot more pull in that car. And it sent me on kind of a vision quest, I'll call it that just for shits and grins, uh, a vision quest which was like, why? What created the experience where, in some essences, she as a passenger had a lot more fun in that car than she did in this car. Now, that being said, I never really pushed this car with her in it. I've always kind of given it a casual drive. Uh, well, maybe one time I did, but... And I, and I was like, okay, so what, what really creates that experience? So it's a, it's a quick, short, easy answer, and it's all about the torque curve and where the car experiences pull, where it doesn't, and this is a naturally aspirated engine, so the, the torque curve is a little delayed compared to boosted engines, there's that. Also, the displacement means the torque is a little pushed out uh, more, and there's a number of other factors that makes the torque, uh, and again, being a flat plane crankshaft in this engine, uh, the torque curve is further pushed out into the higher rev range. So it really doesn't have that low-end torque that I'm used to with muscle cars that feels really violent off the line and maybe loses a little bit of its pull and luster later. But on the other hand, I enjoy this car so much more than I've enjoyed all my other muscle cars. And I'm like, what is it about the feeling of torque versus the feeling of a higher horsepower car? And they're two totally separate feelings, right? So, uh, it, it's it's I would compare it to momentum uh, horsepower being the momentum and it's like this building force where the release is at the end the the dopamine hit is at the end when you hit the maximum power output so it, it slowly builds like a snowball and the power just keeps gradually getting stronger and stronger and stronger uh, in my C6 uh, that had a craft load of low-end torque it would like throw you back in your seat in a very violent fashion that could possibly injure people's necks. Uh, it felt faster in that regard, but it also did not have that building of power. It's almost like it tapered off when you got into the higher speeds. This doesn't have that. This has the opposite. As you get into the higher speeds, and the higher RPM range, it's like there's this excitement that grows with it. So it's a lot more anticipation. And that's the part that I really enjoy. It's like, it's almost like, oh my God, that was so worth it. Like waiting. Whereas the instant torque is like you put your foot down and you go. This car demands more of an experienced driver. It demands a driver who is very careful about what gear you're going into. For example, I can be driving this car right now and in, let's put it in sport just as an example. And you can see it's at 2,500 RPMs right now. So the, the maximum torque on this car is at 6,400, if I'm not mistaken, or 6,200, somewhere around the 6,000, 6,500 mark. And I gotta get it all the way up there, but I can drop to sixth gear. That's not a big enough downshift. Fifth gear, not a big enough. Fourth, not a big enough. There we go. So third gear. shift here and I just I just floored it there's no there's not really a, uh, a strong
strong torque pull. So you you got to be really cautious about that. Where the other ones, you drop a gear or two and you hit that rev range immediately and you're in that low-end torque power band and you can feel it a lot easier. So this one requires a careful selection of gears to give you the, to stay in that upper RPM range, which you're really gonna experience that. And that's the thriller too. It's got such a long range that the buildup is so intense compared to a lot of the muscle cars that I drove. So uh, I, that's, it, it's like a gradual buildup of power versus uh, power being dumped immediately. And then it's, and then it tapers off. It's kind of like it slows down or loses momentum. And that really is what got me so excited about driving this car. And it was like, there's something about this car that, that hits different. And I really couldn't put words to it, but that's really what it is. And that's probably comparable to the Stingray of this generation too. And uh, I couldn't tell you where the peak torque is on that, but I'm sure it's at a much lower number in the fours probably for the same reason. This one is, I, I think it's 62 or 6400. So that's where your peak torque curve is, and that's where your power curve is. And then your power will build up from there. So if I start out uh, here at the four or five range, the power will build all the way up to the 84, 8600, which red line here is 8600 RPM. So that's what makes this car a lot of fun. And it's really designed for the track because you don't really, for spirited driving, how often are you gonna be in that rev range? I mean, it's obnoxious just downshifting. Uh, right in, in the middle of traffic all the way to that loud rev range for other people. I enjoy it, but I can see other people seeing it as very obnoxious. Uh, but it sounds incredible. The sound is incredible. And that's what makes this... That's what makes this car so much fun. And it just needs high speed, high RPM, and that's what makes it a track car more so than, you know, your street spirited, easy driving beginner's car. So just having a lot more ability to control the gear knowing what gear you want to drop into. Uh, and that's one area I probably wouldn't trust the computer much either. I mean, I know these computers are really advanced, but you really just need to know, and the computer needs to understand you, and I don't think it does, which there's a number of reasons I think uh, it, it's also contingent on your driving style, but you gotta know what gear you're going into, and you gotta know what gear, sorry, my, Anyway, you gotta choose the gear. That's what makes this car so much fun. So anyway, that's my rant for today. Uh, find the car that you enjoy. If you're looking for that instant throw at the passenger back, startle them in the seat, you need a lot, you need a low-end torque, right off the line car, and that's good for daily street driving or stoplight to stoplight driving. But if you're looking to really play in that high RPM uh, range with a gradual buildup of power, this car or any other high revving car can definitely deliver. This car is just unique in its own way. I mean, the natural aspiration, again, gives you a lot more of that um, gratification for your hard work. It's like the hard work pays off. And I'm not an instant gratification kind of guy, so I've learned to really let go of my, I would say let go, but move on, move past, or expand my repertoire from muscle into European engineering, which, amazing, 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 even though this is American engineering, modeled after European engineering. So anyway, thank you all. Uh, if you like the content, I got a lot more Corvette things to talk about. Uh, hopefully we'll get some other cars featured on the channel and we'll get some more reviews in and show you guys the differences between this car and some other cars. So thanks for tuning in. If you like the content, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment what you like and what kind of car you like and what's going to give you, what gives you the most satisfaction. Is it the punchy torque at the low end or is it the top end power and dusting or taking people to gapple bees? Let me know in the comments. See y'all next time.